All right, the purpose of today's video is to show you how to get started using Revit. Um, you should have all of your documents that you need to um, make a model of the classroom. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open Revit, and you can do that by pressing the little Windows key and type REV. If it's on the computer, it should show up in the um, best match results there. Uh, it's a desktop app. So I already have it opened. It does take a, a little bit to open. Um, but just wait for it and it'll load. Uh, once you get to this screen, you're going to click on Architectural Template. And when Architectural Template comes up, we're going to just build a real, real quick uh, building. Okay. The first thing I want to do is do some walls. So I'm going to notice up here, you got this uh, ribbon, we call it. There's Architecture, Structure, Systems, Insert. We're going to go back to Architecture. And we want to use a wall. So let's click wall, and then we notice right here the kind of wall, it's a basic, generic, 8-inch wall. There's 6-inch masonry, there's different walls you can choose. So I'm going to use this 8-inch wall. And then it says uh, base constraint, uh, base offset, and then it says top constraint unconnected, and that it's 20 feet high. But I don't actually want it 20 feet high, I want to connect it to the second level, so then I'm going to click apply. So make sure we, we do that. And that will become obvious as you do more and more. Um, you'll always want to make sure that you have that top constraint set to what you need it at. All right, so then uh, I'm actually, I have the drawing tool now. So I'll just click somewhere and, and then let go. You just click once and let go and then it like puts a little pin in it. All right. Now I can drag, and I'm going to say, I'll make it 24 and a half feet. And by, let's say, 20 and a half. And when you move your mouse around, you'll notice that the, it'll kind of stop. It's called a, uh, it's snapping to a certain grid. And so that snap is real, real helpful sometimes, as it'll get you line, lining it up perfectly. All right, so I have this just this box. I want to put in a door, so I'm going to go to uh, architecture, oh, excuse me, and when you're done with the tool, you can just push the escape key. So I'll push escape once, and now I'm no longer drawing, and I'll push escape a second time, and that takes me out of the tool entirely. So I'll go ahead and click on the door placement tool, and then I, if I hover my mouse over here, you notice it's just a single flush 36 by 84 inch door, and I just m move my mouse over this wall move it up and it swings that way, move it down and it swings this way. But if I want it to swing the other way, I can push the space bar, push space bar, and it'll change how the door swings. So I'll just put it right there. All right. And then I want to put in a window, so I'll push escape twice to get out of that door placing tool. I'll select window and fix 36 by 40. Let's take a look. I'll place it right there. I'll push escape a couple times. Now I want to get a better view of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this drawing area, I'm going to click that little box. You see what I did? It's this little box right over here in between the little X and the line. And then I can change the size of this window. And I can have more than one window open at the same time. Also, the way that I'm moving my plans around in there is I'm pressing down on the scroll wheel. So just push down on that scroll wheel and then you can drag it around that way. Okay, so I want to get another view, so I'm going to go under the View tab, and then I'm going to click 3D View. And there you go. I got a 3D view. You can have this open by itself, and if it looks like this, you probably still have the other one open. You just need to click that little button so we can restore it down. All right. And then I can zoom in and out with my scroll wheel. And now I can actually make some changes. If I make changes over here on one side, you'll see them happen at the same side. Notice that it's getting an error because you're saying you got a door going through a window. So how about like that? I think that looks pretty good. And then if you want to see another angle, you can hold down the shift key and your mouse's scroll wheel. You push it down at the same time and then you can move it around. Now notice we got no floor. There is no floor there. So I'm going to put in a floor. And the way you do that, the way you put floors and ceilings and roofs is very similar. So pay attention. 
If you go under Architecture, and then we'll click Floor. Now what you need to do is you need to draw the boundary, the perimeter of where the floor is going to be. I'm going to select the outside edges of all four of these walls because I want my floor to go on the outside. And then when I've selected them all, I can click the green check mark and then it placed that floor that I had selected which was the generic 12 inch floor. All right, and now if I go back over here to the 3D and I look underneath, there you go, I've actually got a floor. All right. All right, let's place an object in our room. Uh, if we go to uh, push escape a couple times, I'm going to go to component and notice it comes up, automatically comes up with a desk, I believe. Let's go ahead and just put that desk there. And notice it's facing the wrong way. I don't like it. So if you push escape a couple times, select the desk and just push the space bar key. It'll change the orientation and then you can drag it around. So I'll put it like right there maybe. I'm going to take a look at it. Yeah, I like that. Right there. Okay, now I probably need a chair. So I push escape a couple times. I'll go to component. Select this little drop down. See what's in here. Do we have any chairs in there already? It doesn't look like it. Got some trees. Okay, so if we don't have what we need, then what we do is we click Edit Type, and then click Load. I think I have some chairs under Furniture, Seating, that's a bench for a locker room. There we go. How about a bower? A brewer? I don't know how to say that. Click OK, or Open, and then click OK, and there's my chair. Now, I'll place a chair right there. That's really, really all there is to it. There's a few other th little things that you need to know, um, like uh, when you're placing certain things, you'll want them to be uh, off the floor. So let's go to Component. I'll click this uh, Edit Type. And let's load a TV, for instance. So I think that's under Furniture also. Um, yeah, TV Flat Screen. Let me put the TV Stand in first. So I'll do TV Stand. Oh, I don't want to click load again. I want to click OK. All right, I'll put a TV stand. Uh, let's say, how about right there? OK. I'll push escape a couple times. Now, component, edit type, load, furniture, TV flat screen. Click OK. OK. Now, so notice it's a 32 inch TV. I want a 50 inch TV. Click OK. Now, when I place this TV right here, I want you to see what's going to happen. So let me just push escape real quick. Come over here so you can watch what happens. So I'll go to component. I'm on a TV. Watch when I place it. When I click to place it, the TV placed on the ground. So how do we tell it we want it on top of that table? Well, there's a couple things you can do. First of all, I'm going to undo. And I'm going to click the little undo button. And I'm going to look at this TV stand. Uh, the first thing I, I want to see is how high is the TV stand. So I can click on Edit Type and I can get the information right there. The height looks like it's one foot seven and a half inches. One foot seven and a half inches. So then what I want to do is when I place this TV, I want to change the offset to one foot, right? One foot seven and one half inches. Just like that, right? Now, when I place it, it goes right on top of that TV stand. So it's called the, the offset. That's what you want to keep in mind. Okay, so let's see here. Yes, beautiful. All right. Now, what if I wanted to see a view of what it looked like head on, right? You can also get some views uh, under the View tab. Um, I'm going to push Escape a couple times. Let's click right here. There we go. And then click the Section tool. I click from here to here, and then I'll have a section. Now uh, you can see under here, under sections, I have section one. If I double click on it, now I'm seeing as if those two points were, were looking at that whole area. So now when section one comes up, 
it's what it looks like if I'm sitting right there. I just got a cross section. Just like if you were to dissect something, cut it straight in half. That's what your view would be like. Okay? This can be very useful. Very useful. All right, so that pretty much covers. We've talked about how to get started with an architectural template, uh, how to draw walls, uh, make sure that they're connected to the right height. Uh, we've talked about how to place items. Um, like a desk and a chair and a TV and feel free to explore those folders where there's lots of different items that you can place. Um, we have uh, placed a door and a window and the only other thing that we would do would maybe be place a roof but we'll save that for another video. Alright, well thanks so much and I go hope you guys have fun. Feel free to explore and uh, just do your best.